Hey guys, so I'm back with another keto meal. Um, today I'm gonna to do air fried chicken strips and I might add some bacon in there. And then I'm also gonna do um, mac and cheese. This time I'm not gonna bake it only because I want a more saucy um, taste. I don't know, <laughs> but let me show you what I'm gonna do, okay? So let me take you to my kitchen. Let's start out with have some cauliflower that I already cut up into fourths and I'm gonna throw them in here, okay? Now I added salt to the water. That's all that I did. So we're gonna cook them here for a few minutes. I have it set on high. Then I'm gonna move on to my chicken. My chicken is already cut. It's already um, cut into little strips and I have it like this for a reason. Because my air fryer, it's not that big. So I'm gonna need little, little pieces, okay? Well, let's start. The first thing I'm gonna add to this is Sazon Goya. Now this is kind of like an all-purpose Spanish seasoning. Okay, we're gonna add that. We're gonna add adobo. I'm sorry, pepper. And some mayo. I'm gonna do one, about two scoops. Okay, I'm gonna add my minced garlic here. Oh yeah. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix everything in. And it's gonna look just like that. Then to that, I have some um, pork grinds. So what I did is I put my pork grind in this big old bag and then I just, you know, I crumbled it up. You can take a cup, you can take your roller, pin, whatever you wanna call it. You can take anything that you want. And all you wanna do is uh, crush the pork grind. So now that I put a little bit of pork grinds in my um, bowl here, now I'm gonna take my pork grind, I mean, I'm sorry, my chicken strip, and I'm just gonna roll this baby in it. So I'm gonna grab a plate and I'm gonna put it here. All right, I'm watching out for my cauliflower. Gotta make sure that they're nice and tender. All right, they're almost there. And this is what you wanna do, just go ahead and Put them in your pork grinds and you're good to go. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna put bacon. Take a piece of bacon and you just wrap it around. That's all to it. So we're gonna have some bacon, we're gonna have some pork grinds. This is gonna be delicious. And you just wrap it around. You know? And I'm just gonna do this over and over. Okay, so there it is. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drain the cauliflower, okay? So I got my cauliflower drained. I have this thing here. I'm gonna put 
counter over here where there's no heat. Now I'm gonna start with my um, chicken. We're gonna start air frying it. So I have my little air fryer. I have um, foil paper in the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is just out of habit, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it, okay? With my butter spray. You can use whatever spray you have. Anything will work. Now for this, since mine's is not so big, here, let me get you those so you can see. I'm just gonna try to lay them down as, you know, as much as it fits. So I got one, two, three. That's why I cut them really small because I knew it wasn't gonna be much room. All right, let's try to put four in there. So I'm gonna cook this for um, 12 minutes and then take it out and then put it back again if it needs more, which most likely it will. Okay, let's put it back on. I'm gonna set it to about 350. And I'm gonna do 12 minutes. And we're gonna check on them. Okay, so now let me take you to this part. I'm gonna do my cheese sauce now. Now with my cheese sauce, I'm gonna add a little bit of cleaner. Ooh, it's already heating, so. Just gonna add some creamer. I'm gonna add some of my leafy greens. This is the spring mix. And what I did was, before it, it um, expires, I just go ahead and freeze my leafy greens. You know, this is the spring mix. So I can add it to soup, salads, and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it. This is gonna cook down. And you can take it right out the freezer and throw it in here. You can do this with soups, you can do it with meats, you can do it with sauces. Anything that you wanna do, you can freeze it. I'm gonna take like about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Take black pepper. I'm gonna take some salt. I have here pink Himalayan salt. And you're good to go. And don't worry about the greens because the greens are gonna wilt down a little. cooking down and this is quick let me show you guys see it's pretty quick so now what you want to do is add your creamer okay and I'm gonna make sure this is a little bit high. I have it like a medium high. Um, if you have numbers on your stove, like I have this number is seven. So, and it goes all the way up to 10, right? So I'm gonna put about one, two, three handfuls, maybe two and a half handfuls of Fiesta blend cheese. This is the cheese of my choice. This is what I I choose all the time for me and my family because I love Fiesta blend cheese. I use it almost in all my meals, almost. <laughs> Let me put that down. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna whisk. That's all you're gonna do. 
and this will turn into a sauce. Now, if it's too, like, you know, if you put cheese and you notice that it's too watery, go ahead and add more cheese. Or if it's too thick, add more creamer. Okay, until, the con until you have the consistency that you like. And the sauce is quick, it's fast. You have it within minutes. And I have a sauce that is cheese with leafy greens. And let me just show you. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Now what I want to do is I want to taste it. Cheesy is good. But to me, it needs a little bit more flavor. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna add my all-purpose seasoning to this. Once again, I'm gonna show it to you again. This is the sazon. And I'm just gonna add this to it so it could give it that nice flavor. Now, this is not salty, so I can put the whole pack in there. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to whisking again. That's the thing about the sauce. You gotta be careful that you don't burn the cheese. Oh my gosh, this sauce looks so good. I'm gonna taste it again. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's cheesy. I'm just gonna throw my cauliflower in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. You wanna fold it in. Grab some, fold it in. Grab some, fold it in. And this is why I'm not gonna bake it. because it's, it's cheesy, it has a good color. I mean, you can bake it. You can put crumbs of bacon, you know, just go ahead and, and fry up your bacon and cut it into pieces and you can put it as a topper. It is delicious. But I think, man, I think I like my cauliflower and cheese just like this. There it is. Look at that. Oh, so got a couple of minutes on the chicken and I'm gonna let you see how it comes out when it's plated. Okay, so this is after 12 minutes. And look how they look. Oh, they look so good. I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool down. So there they are. And I didn't even have to turn them over. They just, they cooked in 12 minutes. So I'm putting the bacon wrap. Putting it here. Okay, I have it set between 320 and 400. Is it 320? Yes, it is 320. Okay, so 320, uh, 400, I have it right here. That. So here I go. Okay, so this one I'm gonna set for 11, 12, 13 minutes. Cause it has um, bacon in it, okay? So 13 minutes. And then we'll see how it turns out, okay? So I'm gonna serve my plate and then I'm gonna let you guys know how it tastes. Okay, so I'm back. I'm here to do the taste test. All right, I have the pork rinds um, strips here. I'm cooking the bacon, so we'll see how it tastes. I mean, whew, I'm so hungry. All right, first, let's see how the cauliflower tastes. Cheese sauce, all the greens, like spinach, kale. Let's see. Recognize that light box. I think it might be a new 
Oh, that is so, it's so creamy, it's so good. It is so good. It, it really, I thought I was gonna miss the baking process of it. <clears throat> it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. I mean, if you want it, you can have it. Mm. It is so good. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Let's go with the chicken. Let's see if 12 minutes was enough. It cooked all the way. You already know. I got my sriracha sauce here. So that is what I'm planning to use because I just I like I like spicy. So you see. Since her mother died, we, uh, mm. Jenny and I, we, we don't talk. Mm, mm, mm. She it's good. Mm -hmm. It has that crunch. So I can only imagine well, with the bacon, it's going to have like the salty of flavor. Good. But it's, it's this is perfect. Mm, mm, mm. This is perfect, but like, I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying this meal. So this is going to go on my Facebook. Follow me on Facebook under K Sierra. You can follow me on Instagram. But I do mostly um, share, like, you know, routines, exercise, and stuff like that. A lot of um, diet stuff in my Facebook. So you can follow me there under K Sierra. And and see you know recipes that maybe you want to try out mm, 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 mm. well guys there's nothing else to see here this meal is a success you know don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and show me some love, show me some support. And if you cooked the meals, let me know how it turned out. Did you like it? Did you add it your own twist? What did you do? Let me know. I'm interested. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I'm back because I wanted to try the bacon one. And let's see how it tastes. Mm. Hot. It's good. It's salty. It's crispy. Now with the bacon, I had to cook it for 12 minutes and then go back, flip it, and cook it again for 12 minutes. With the pork rind, I did, and I just cooked it on 13 minutes, and that was it. It was crispy on both sides. It was good. You know, you can take your favorite sauce and eat it with it. It was perfect. I think my favorite is the pork grinds, but bacon is not too bad. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, and, and enjoy. All right, I'll see you in my next video.